Hey, what's up guys? It's Exclusive Fall here. We're back with a bit of uh, Destiny 2. I'm going to be going through a bit more of my uh, Titan campaign with you guys. Um, I haven't played anything since the last episode. Um, so we'll be up to exactly where we left off in the last episode, which I think you guys all enjoyed by the amount of views that we got on it. Okay, so complete the mission of Hope on Titan. So Titan will be the new planet that we're going to. In the last one we had um, our character confer with the chick from the outskirts of the city and they got Zavala's message to meet them on Titan to regroup the Guardians basically. So let's see how that one goes. Hawthorne already believes Zavala abandoned her and the survivors. Now that we're leaving, if we stayed, yes, we could help them survive, but if Zavala really is building a counter-offensive on Titan, we can save them all, and take back the city. I must say, the ghost has pretty high hopes of what it does, but then again, I guess they fight for the lights, have to believe that it's going to win every time. Vanguard Fleet, Guardian Ship 723 is on approach. We received your beacon, and we're ready to join the fight. Guardianship, this is Zavala. It's too late. The Hive have overrun Titan. I was wrong to bring us here. Okay, so on Earth we had the Fallen as our main enemy, but on Titan I'm pretty sure it's the Hive that are the main enemy, as we heard Zavala say just before. Okay, so let's get into a sort of carnage we can make. Probably going to be a bit of running around and stuff like that. No! We've already lost too many Lightless Guardians to the Hive. We can't secure this moon. We have our light back. What? Impossible. Commander, if I may... So of course, we're the only Guardians, Guardians that currently have Commander our light back. Slow. As the Travelers soon in prison, we got ours back from the that, Shard in the first episode. To get this episode. up and running. There's a fleet to prep, Guardians to arm, and a trove of intercepted Red Legion transmissions to decrypt. It's critical we gain access to the station's control center. That's where you come in. I must say, this, this is really pretty is cool. And that the... Back to hell. Waves of water, and, and that look amazing. Like the electricity crackling in it, I don't know. I'm not really sure what that is. Is it just that... Oh wow. <laughs> I was walking around. Holy shit. Wow, that was that was an amateur way to die. So all this door with the hive bit and everything on it, it looks amazing. I have a bad uh, there's a good thing about Des destiny and that like all the areas look spectacular. Bit of an intense game, and that uh, when you get to certain bits, you kind of get swarmed with ads, and they kind of just keep throwing them at you. Um, yeah, I guess it's just more up in the game than that. It is super fun. Oh Jesus. <laughs> You'd think I was completely new to Destiny, but I'm not. It's just I'm completely out of practice. <laughs> That's my only issue here. So I just... <laughs> just so out of practice and I'm so used to having like the higher up light levels and everything like that so it's hard getting back into like the low level ones. Well, that was a lot better the second time round. Ooh, new, new, new gauntlets. Check them on. I shudder to think what spell the Hive were casting back there. We should talk to Eris Morn. She would know which Hive god they were communing with. 
No one has seen Eris, or Icona, or Cade. Since this city fell. So at the moment we get a couple main characters missing. And now we got Ikora and Cade, so the Warlock and Hunter Vanguards, and we've got the Eris Morn, who's like the Hive expert in the tower, as everyone will know if you played um, Destiny 1. Um, she was introduced when the Crota DLC was out of the Dark Below, I believe it was. How are we doing? Clear out the Hive. Oh god. Who else is the control center? It's just everywhere. We need to clear them out. Lock them up. Captain America shield for the win. Fucking out of nowhere. What a bitch. There we go. Clear out the hive breeding ground. We it, well, this could turn Perfect. into something completely Recon different. Recon the perimeter before you move on the control center. <sighs> they phase stuff really weirdly sometimes. <laughs> I just had to look at that one and explode. It was like, nah, man, I'm not getting shot today. <laughs> Whoa. No one to die here. This be weird. No, oh, hold on, I find the Hive are probably the best enemy in. Destiny, and that they have like the most kind of like diversity in their attacks and stuff. Like the Cabal are all pretty like similar to each other and everything like that. Whereas the Hive all have like their really distinct looking traits and everything like that, and they all like look really unique. And that's something I always liked about it. And that the, um, some of the groups, the more like unified, like formation fitting ones, like the Cabal or. Um, the Fallen kind of all like look kind of more like similar because there's actually like some planning behind it whereas the Hives just kind of spread out just take as much territory as they can to worship their gods the kind of thing and that which I find pretty cool because they kind of seem like the Flood from Halo um, we cleared the nest heading to the control center now yeah well I do done. like the Hive Sweet over the everything else. I find them the most interesting signal. enemy to fight. Um, I wish they'd have more like Hive based raids and everything, because I found Crota and then Oryx. I know Oryx was taken, but I found that he is having the, the still the like Hive enemies and that were really cool. Where do I have to go? Oh, downstairs. <laughs> been a while since I played guys <laughs> especially through the campaign it's been a long while <laughs> fucking ragdolled <laughs> just went absolutely flying there holy shit oh, I didn't even realize that was a restricted respawn area how do I have to go? Up and around. Yeah, no, I'm guessing through straight through the enemies. Oh, so I better get ragdolled this time. <laughs> Should have put up the shield. Should have been able to see the shield coming through this space. Oh, 
Oh, what a bitch. Just running. Uh, there's a lot of different like play styles in that that you can do in Destiny. You've got like, the high flyers who just like tank the damage and output and stuff. And then you've got the ones that kind of hide back and more... They still deal with the damage, but they're more cautious about it. Um, I'm not really one of those people. <laughs> I just go in and see how it goes. <laughs> Which obviously can be good sometimes, but not all the time. Right, I find that I do that more in like the stuff that doesn't matter like as much. Like no one's really relying on me to do stuff, but it, like solo campaign missions and stuff that don't really matter. And that's just stuff that you have to beat to get through the game to the actual end game content. It's done. Copy that. Zavala and I are inbound. We're approaching the landing platform. Get up here and take a bow. Okay, so I think this is almost the end of the first mission on Titan. And we meet up with Zavala and whoever survived with him, I guess. I can't remember who it is. Um, it's been a fair while. I didn't dare believe. If the light can find its way back to you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. Our numbers will continue to dwindle. We can no longer protect ourselves, much less the survivors. And without the light, are we even guardians anymore? Commander. Hey. We won't last long with dead generators. Wave energy converters power this station, but thanks to the Hive, they're in need of attention. We can take care of it. Probably more like they're laid random yes. egg sacs in it. I believe you can. <laughs> Commander Zavala yeah. tells me you volunteer. Oh, I might leave this All mission till boat, the next right episode, which should be it's a straightforward up pretty get soon. In, I'm going to get more get into out. Desi and have more of the content from Slow's here running through. Um, but let me know in the comments if there's anything you guys think I should play. Um, ones you reckon are pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave this one here for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and share to your mates and stuff like that. Get, get a bit of uh, info going around for the channel. Um, but yeah, I will see all you guys in my next video, Exclusive Vault, out.